Good morning. It's Wednesday, November the 4th, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. Um, Before I get to the main parts, I also want to reiterate that if anybody has any uh, shout outs that they want uh, me to do, uh, you can contact me through YouTube, check out my um, YouTube channel and um, go ahead and uh, leave a note there and uh, I'll get that about anybody you want me to say maybe happy birthday or uh, if uh, somebody uh, needs a prayer, uh, I'd be willing to go ahead and do that, that kind of thing. So. Um, it looks like the celebration is postponed. You know, I, I've been saying that I'm confident that um, uh, the, the president's going to win, and now it looks like it's a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, honest with you, I thought it was going to be a blowout because I just can't understand how anybody can vote for Joe Biden. I just don't get it. I, don't, I just don't see it. Uh, Trump, also by the evidence of my senses and the use of my mind, I know that... Uh, Donald Trump was drawing uh, tens of thousands to his rallies and nobody, nobody was showing at the Biden rallies. And, um, and that also, I also know by the evidence of my senses and the use of my mind that Donald Trump was outworking Biden. Biden was sleeping through this uh, whole, this whole process. So uh, I am really, really surprised, but I was wrong. Um, I thought it was going to be a blowout. Uh, wrong. And uh, I'm again, I'm surprised because of what I saw on television. And I guess, um, I don't know, I don't know what to make of it other than, um, you know, that there's something uh, funny going on, uh, that somehow people are, um, we're getting jerked around somehow, or maybe we're going to get late ballots in or whatever. Last time I left it, by the way, I was listening to Hugh Hewitt this morning. Uh, the president was up by 30,000 votes with 99% of the precincts reporting in Michigan. And Michigan was one of the key ones. Also, that there were 700,000 votes outstanding in the state of Nevada. So Nevada is also key. And uh, so uh, Hugh Hewitt was saying that he's confident that the president will take Georgia, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. He says he's not particularly worried about all that, but that he's concerned about Michigan and um, Nevada. And my understanding is that um, he has to. the president has to get one or the other, both of them would be best, but that he has to get one or the other. One, I think, if he gets Nevada, he ties, and if uh, he gets uh, Michigan, uh, then he wins. So he's already got Florida, and uh, so uh, as of now, as of, uh, what is this, it's uh, just before 7 o'clock Pacific time, uh, that's where uh, things stand. So like I said, I was wrong, and uh, it's close. And, oh, the la- other thing that I wanted to mention, by the way, is that everybody's talking about, well, you know, if Biden wins, then, uh, you know, then the Democrats this, the Democrats that, and it's going to be horrible, terrible, horrible, and awful. But really what's going to happen um, is that it's going to give the bad guys, and I mean the never-Trumpers, then there's a whole lot of Republicans that are never-Trumpers. And uh, it's going to give them the wrong idea. They're going to be able to say, see... We were right. Uh, the people don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, we should be the ones that are, are picking the candidates, not the people. And so next time in 2024, we're going to end up with Jeb Bush. And uh, from then on, it's going every four years, it's going to be whoever uh, the machine wants uh, to put up as a candidate rather than who the people want. And uh, Donald Trump was the, the last... He's the only person I've... I've uh, seen is the only person I know of that if if there's a promise to American life, the promise is anybody can be president in the United States, anybody. And Donald Trump is the one that actually fulfilled that promise. Uh, Ronald Reagan didn't even fulfill it because he already, he was already governor. So he's, as far as I was concerned, he was part of the machine. And uh, so he had all these connections and political connections. Donald Trump is the guy that did it raw. He had no political connections, no political experience, and uh, he just uh, came down the escalator, said, hi, I'm running for president, and bang, won it. And that's uh, very very dramatic and very exciting. And again, says that this is a great country that anybody can be president. 
But uh, if he loses here, then we have a situation where, uh, again, the Republicans are going to be problematic. They're the ones that are going to say, see, I told you so. Uh, uh, next time, shut up and listen to us. We'll tell you who to vote for. And they're going to put across, it's going to be Mitt Romney and Jeb Bush every election. So that's, that's what scares me. Because uh, right now, the way things stand, as far as the, we've picked up seats in the House and there's, um, the Senate is going to be pretty much a wash. It's, you know, uh, 52, 48, something along those uh, lines. And so uh, the, even if Biden wins, he's not going to be able to get much done. So then we'll have to see what happens, what we can do with the House and the Senate uh, two years from now. But um, like I said, it's not the, the, uh, the Democrats that I, uh, I worry about. It's the Republicans. So um, be mindful of that. If, uh, if Biden wins, Again, you look and watch uh, 2024. We're not going to be able to have uh, Trump-like candidates. Um, we're going to be uh, forced to, to support people like Jeb Bush, and that's a shame. So um, next episode, hopefully, celebration. And until then, be honest, be smart, be beautiful, and we'll see you next time.